how it's going to say about so many people really want to try to have all their own kids to have any of the special talent about what they had. For me, I'm, I'm just going to say don't give up and just keep on trying and just keep on working hard. Welcome back to another episode of the Making Magic Podcast. I'm Sean Jay, your host, and I'm a professional magician, speaker, and 3D designer. And this is all about inspiring conversations with the movers, the shakers, the visionaries, and the makers, the wizards behind the curtain that make the magic for you. Now, if this is your first time tuning into the show, thank you so much for doing so. It really does mean a lot to me because I put a lot of hard work into each and every one of these episodes. Whether you're listening to the sound of my voice on any one of the popular podcast apps or on YouTube, hopefully you'll decide if you're a podcast type of person that you'll uh, follow the show. Follow me along for the ride and uh, leave a healthy review of the show. And if you're here on YouTube, feel free to give this show a thumbs up, comment below, turn on the notification bell, and subscribe. You guys know what to do because I'm all about getting your creative gears turning, and that's what this show is all about. Whether you feel like you're stuck with a certain thought pattern and you want to break out of your current thought pattern, if you feel boxed in and trying to be inspired to think in new ways, well, I've got some of the world's most creative people that are sharing their process with you on this show. So I hope you decide to join me on the journey and I'll be releasing episodes like every week now. So I hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. So with all that being said, let's learn a little bit more about our next guest. My next guest had a dream when he was just three years old that he was going to be a famous actor when he's all grown up. Well, since then, he has grown up and he now is a famous actor. Best known for his breakout role in the hit film The Peanut Butter Falcon with his two co-stars Shia LaBeouf and Dakota Johnson, Zach Gottsagan, in my mind, is a real magician because he was able to break through the supposedly impossible odds going into Hollywood as a lead male role, as an actor who just happens to have Down syndrome. Now, this was not easy for Zach, and it took him quite some time, but by using the magic of persistence, hard work and following his dream, he was able to make the supposedly impossible possible. And hopefully by the end of this interview, he'll inspire you to do the same in your life. And it also helps that his mom is incredibly supportive. She's an amazing mom and has helped him all along the way. You can catch Zach in a brand new short film release called At Last on HBO Max and a brand new feature film called God Save the Queen. It's coming soon to a theater near you. So it's my absolute pleasure to introduce to you my new friend, the real peanut butter falcon, Zach Gottsagen. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Making Magic podcast. Today, I'm actually I'm so excited because I actually have a, a bit of a celebrity uh, as my guest on the show. Uh, his name is Zach Gottsagen, and he's a professional actor, and he also has many other skills besides acting, which you're going to learn about today in this interview. And he's a star of one of the most popular films. Uh, around a popular indie film. It's an amazing Hollywood film that just kind of blew up uh, just a couple years ago. It's called The Peanut Butter Falcon with uh, co-stars Shia LaBeouf and Dakota Johnson. But there's many other facets and parts of Zach that we're going to discuss today, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this. So, um, Zach, I'd like you to – I always ask my guest to – uh, share a story to kick off the show. So I'd like you to uh, take us through your journey of, you know, from the age of three years old, because you've been doing this for a really long time, you know, until your career unfolded until, until what it is right now. I was um, three years old. I did 
told my mom about uh, I really want to be a really good actor. And and ever since that time that you you told her that and you kind of made that that um, commitment to do that, you you followed through all the way, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, that's what I love about you because your, your career is, 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 you know, starting at the age of three, you actually have a lot of schooling, uh, for acting when you, you've taken many classes over the years, you've attended, uh, many different, uh, acting schools, uh, earlier mm-hmm. on. Uh, can you, can you, uh, share a little bit about that? Like, uh, the different uh, schools that you went uh, to? Sure. I did, did, um, on this and- for of the um, middle and high school acting school. In the acting school, you you were you were uh, involved with different exercises and different things to to improve your probably your your on camera presence, maybe script reading and script writing. Yes. Yeah, and and you also you also. Uh, are into dance, right? You like to dance? Oh yes, yes. Was... I, yes, I do love to dance. And and actually I have been taking a class for fifteen years. Fifteen years, okay. So you've been taking uh dance related classes for fifteen years and and I think that's that's part of part of your success what's what's helped you because it gives you a way to it gives you another creative outlet another way that to differentiate yourself from other actors because that's something else that you can offer to to different productions right oh yes yes and and in fact there was um there was a i remember there was something that uh, you told you had mentioned uh there's a music video more recently that you were involved in i believe it was called uh, what's, is it called what's done is done? Yes. Yeah. So for those of you, uh, who want to see, uh, a creative, creatively, uh, constructed music video with Zach, uh, dancing, it's called what's done is done. I believe you can find it on, on YouTube if, if you, or Google, oh, yes, yes. if you um, just YouTube, yes. Okay. Okay. So guys, check that out on YouTube. It's called what's done is done. Now for those of you for those of the, my listeners and viewers who live under a rock and don't know who Zach Gottsagen is, I just would like to get this out of the way for, for those of you who don't know. Zach, again, he's very passionate. He's been, he's been doing this since he's three years old, and he made a promise to himself and to his mom. This is what he wants to do. Now, he's had to uh, overcome a lot of pushback from, from the industry due to uh, you having uh, Down syndrome, but that's not... The, I think you have been able to make it work in your favor because it's one of those things, again, that makes you different. And it's opened up a lot of doors for you, a lot of opportunities probably that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise. Would you agree? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, I- yeah. And, and, and it's great because the, the directors of the Peanut Butter Falcon decided that – they don't care what anybody else thinks about who the leading actor or actress should be. They just saw something in you, and they were like, "This, this guy needs his needs his moment to say his piece, and he needs the opportunity to to be in a in a major film, just like everybody else." I'm just so glad that they did that. I'm glad they gave you the opportunity because now you're on a new platform. And uh, you're being respected for for all the hard work that you've put in over the years. Oh yeah, yeah. So, I one of the most important things I want to I want my viewers and listeners to understand, like in my industry, the entertainment industry, the magic industry, the music industry, the acting industry. People think, oh, Zach maybe just decided he wanted to do some acting, and all of a sudden he was in this major film. And there are other films that you are in, which, which we can discuss as well. But I want people to understand that it took how many years from you meeting Tyler and Mike? 
How, how many years did it take to develop into that movie? I would say, um, well, we have been friends for like 10 years. We have been friends from at Zeno, Zeno Mountain Farm Camp. Zeno Mountain Farm Camp. And yeah, eight to 10 years, folks, it took for something like that to develop. It didn't, he didn't just walk on a movie set and it happened. This was, this was mm -hmm. a result of uh, relationships and friendships being developed mm -hmm. over a long period of time. And I think, I think we all need to be reminded sometimes that as much as we would like to have something work out or as much as we would like to achieve success in life, sometimes those really amazing things, those big breakthrough things, they take a long time to happen. It's not just instant gratification. And so it's worth the wait. Oh, yeah. Definitely worth the wait. So can you touch on some of your previous uh, training, such as I think I believe it was uh, high school, right, that you started going to yes. these other schools? Yes. Yeah. I'll say I'm Dreyfus School of the Arts, and I have been doing like so many of the plays, and, and for me, I have been doing so well, and I was um, trying to learn about some stuff like about who is um, um, uh, taking turns and um, who is going to be acting first and uh, stuff like that. Okay, Dreyfus School of the Arts and all of the all of the bases and basics were covered so by the time you had that chance to make that uh bigger movie you were ready you were fully prepared yes what can you tell the people i think this is also really important for for others to understand your story i i would say if i were to give it one word just to name your your story your career journey would be persistence and there's a lot of magic in persistence and can you tell people about the magic of persistence and how it can pay off major dividends in the long run i was going to say about so many people really want to try to have of their own kids to have any of the special talent about what they had. For me, I'm, I'm just going to say, don't give up and just keep on trying and just keep on working hard, but you still have to be more of um, a patient and take some time, but you still have to be in school and just to learn about all basic skills of your own talent and that's how you, that's that's how you could um, become a really good acting or dancing or um singing or become a um artist in and um singing and stuff but if you do have a really good talent for that then i'll say go for it follow your heart and um Follow your dream. And that's how you get bigger and bigger, but you still have to learn about all the stuff for of yourself. That's how you could think of yourself and your heart and your brain could think about what one is the best for you. Mm. Yes, follow your heart, follow your passion, follow your dreams, folks. You heard it from, from Zach. I mean, if Zach can do it, anybody can do it. It's just a matter yep. of having that mindset. I'll say about all of the most people could try, try very hard if they don't have it, but try their best. That's all what you can do. Exactly. All that is all you can do. You have to try your best. You have to you have to put a good effort into it rather than just assuming that you can't do it. Because then if you go in it with that kind of mindset, then you're going to program yourself for failure. But if you go in it with the mindset of, yes, I can, I'm going to do this, you have a better shot at achieving your dream. So yeah, guys, it's really important to to have that mindset uh 
having the mindset that you will be able to do it rather than you can't do it. And Zach is perfect proof that that is possible. Now, there were, be, before, before Peanut Butter Falcon, there were other movies that you were a part of. And these movies, uh, I believe a lot of them were when you were in camp, when you met uh, Tyler and Mike. Is that right? Actually, no, but actually um, with, um, with um, Tyler, Tyler Nelson. Oh, okay, okay. All right, very good. So uh, what, were, what were these movies? I, I know there was one uh, where you were bulletproof, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, bulletproof Jackson and burning like a fire. Burning and, like fire. Yeah, and actually, I did my own dancing. You did your uh, own dancing. Yeah, all uh, four of the part. Wow! All right, and not only do you do your own dancing, but you also do your own stunts. Oh yeah, that too. Yes, some of my uh, stunts. Yes, but. Well, only Cipher in the ring, but I did have only one stunt. You said something in the ring, meaning when you were fighting in the ring? Yeah, but I did have only one stunt. Was them uh, doing it for me? Okay, okay. Well, it was, it's, uh, it's obvious that you definitely like to take the hands-on approach and, and do as much of to be as part of the movie, part of the experience as much as you possibly can. So you could say it was you, you were the guy that did it. You were the guy. Yes. It wasn't someone else just, and you were just leaning back in a, in a chair, letting someone else do all the work for you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and but they did have my um, face in it. Right, right. It has your face in it. It has you in it. And so you, you maintain your, your presence in the movie as, as much as possible, which is fantastic. Yes. Now, there was also something that we had uh, talked about prior to the interview. You're also very involved in live theater, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, what would you say... Do you like live theater more than than major motion pictures for film, or do you like them both equally? I would say um, equally. Equally. Smart man. Good answer. Good answer. Um, t tell us about some of the some of the live theater productions that you've been involved in. I know there was one that was really special. It was. Uh, taking place in the in the scenery of some neon. That was um, I would say um, label less. Label less, and this was um, a live theater production. It was really cool when when you guys were sharing the details with me about this. It's uh, it's each each actor is it's it's all about breaking down basically ma making stereotypes and and challenges uh ma making them known to the audience and helping them to understand what each person what each group of people goes through when they're being stereotyped and so oh, there were yeah. different topics covered like racial stereotypes and then there were uh mm -hmm. others and, and you you spoke a piece on on down syndrome correct oh uh, yes i you said it yes and it and it described the some of the challenges that you have to go through in life and, and the challenges that maybe you have faced in the past, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's really good that that uh, people are doing stuff like this. I hope I hope there's more of this in the future because a lot of people just make assumptions that they know what these things are, but until they really hear so they really hear the story from from the person themselves that's actually going through this then then they might fully understand mm -hmm. oh it's, yeah right it's better to to hear it straight from the source rather than to read something in a book or a paper or it's like no guys listen up this is what i've gone through this is my life and 
and you can inspire people that way because you're also uh, you, you you take your story and you you uh, you speak on stages like uh, give motivational speeches, right? Oh yes, I uh, yes I do yes. Yeah, and and that's fantastic as well because people people should hear people should hear the story coming from you, not just some uh, Hollywood version of what it should be. And what better way to, to keep it authentic by yeah. having you yourself deliver it? Actually, I did have been on stage for um, getting the, um, the uh, awards. Oh, okay. Uh, g getting awards on stage, meaning awards for movies or? Uh, uh, that... Yes. Um, about, about four of everything about, about what I did and but actually i do have some of the awards here oh you do you've got yes. some awards there yeah oh, are we going to bring one into the into the camera frame to show let's see what we got look at this look at that all right and for for those that are just listening to this zach uh has one of the awards that he's won in his hand, which looks like I'm trying to figure out what that looks like. What what is that award called? Uh, I would say it's um um palm um um uh palm palm beach palm springs. Uh, oh, I um, mean yeah, uh palm springs. Oh, so it's a uh, Palm Springs um, Film Festival. Yes. Nice, nice. And. And, and I do have one more. Oh, okay, okay. And he's got one more that he's to bring in the frame here, which is a different shape. Uh, kind of hard. I see, I see like the top of it. I don't know if I could see the rest of it. You might need to see if we can hold it. You're able to hold it up a little bit and bring, bring it over this way. There we go. What is that? I see some wood there. Crested Butte. Um, Preston Butte. Pre Preston? Crested Butte. Uh, Preston Butte. Oh, Crested Butte. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it looks like it's made out of wood there. And it's... Yeah. Does that say, mm -hmm. like, something prize, first prize, something? Jury. Um, uh, jury. Jury prize. Yeah, jury prize. Nice. And... Which which award, which movie or film or piece was that award for? Oh, actually, I would say it'd be the uh, Pe Peanut Butter Falcon. Nice, Peanut Butter Falcon. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I do have this. Oh, can, can you bring that over closer in? Yes, let's see. Wow, and that's another one there, which looks like some white tree or something on top. And Oh, actually... He is um the um the um artichoke. Artichoke. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like an artichoke or a cauliflower. Okay, it's an artichoke on a uh, on some kind of stand there. And w which award is that? Which one is that? Um, that is um Ed Roberts. So it's the Ed Roberts uh, Award. Award. The Ed Roberts Award. Was this also for Peanut Butter Falcon? Yes. Man, so you just kept, you got so many awards for this. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I, there's something else. Oh my goodness. And what's this? Uh, uh, this one is, um, um, Hollywood Critics Association. Uh, uh, Hollywood Critics uh, Award. The Hollywood. Press, did you say? Uh, critics. Hollywood Critics Award. Oh, oh, okay. HCA. Now I can see that. Okay. Wow. Again, man. Look at that. The Hollywood Critics Award. So do you? So you have a shelf, I guess, somewhere in your home dedicated for all this stuff, huh? Uh, uh, yes, I do. Yes, I got so many of them. Yes, you mm -hmm. do. Oh, wait. You said you have something else? Oh yeah, I see. I do. Oh man. Okay. Let's see it. Wow, okay. 
And that is, I'm reading it, Aspire, Aspire Advocate, Advocate and Achieve, okay, the Aspire Advocate and Achieve Award. Okay, and who, is that, who was that from? Uh, same thing. Same place, Hollywood uh, Critics? No. Okay. One, this will, this will, I, we, I don't know, he has so many. Um, um, I don't know, but it is somewhere else. Okay, so one, one of those, it's, 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 a, it's one of the many awards to, to add to the collection. That's still really cool, uh, regardless. And you got that thing right there in the center there, the, the Palm Springs. It looks like a person or something with some extra long arms. I think that's what that is. And I oh, have... there's one. There's another one. What's this? Yeah, bring it over a little bit so I can. Uh, I got to come over this way just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's a heavy one, Shelly. <laughs> okay, thank you for that, Shelly. And which which is this? I I cannot see or read it based on the angle, but oh um 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 uh, Fort Myers uh, film festival. It's... Uh, film film festival. Oh, the Fort Myers Film Festival. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is this is a Florida award. Wow. Okay, man. Yeah. Is there is there going to be another one, or is that all for now? <laughs> Uh no, actually, trust me. Um, uh, there is gonna be a very bunch more coming to me. <laughs> oh yeah, I know there's gonna be more for you. Oh, there actually is another one. <laughs> Here is mm -hmm. another one. I was, I wasn't, I wasn't wrong with that. Okay, I could see, I can kind of see that, and that is, is that from another film festival? Yes. Actually, which one is that from? Self-Advocacy Award. Yes. Is that the one named? And they... Advocacy. And they named the award for Zach, so everybody that gets it from now on, it's called the Zach Gottsagen Award. It's wow. The, of the year, Honorary Champion of Inclusion. Honorary know, Champion. This one, this one was from Best Buddies. Yeah, um, the, um, a Best Buddy Cruise. No, not the cruise. It's from the best buddy organization. Oh, I mean, sorry. I mean, the uh, best buddies. Oh, mom. That's the, fine. Um, the, the red apple. You get the. Uh... <laughs> Wait, that's wow. Lot. Okay. There's more. <laughs> get your, you got your award with your name on it, your own, the Zach Gottsagen Award. And then this looks like a. Is that a tomato on top? Uh, uh, apple. It's an apple. Okay. So this is the Apple something award, <laughs> which. Yeah. Um, uh, that one is, is, um. Education uh, Foundation. Education. Foundation. Um, foundation. The, the, the foundation. Yes. Education Foundation. Education um, Foundation. Foundation. Okay. Got it, got it. And we, alumni award. Yeah. The last one to get it before him was Burt Reynolds. Wow. Okay. So, so you're you're in a you're in quite the lineup. The the so the last person was Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds oh, yeah. is his um, way before your time and my time. But you know him. You've probably studied his work a bit, right? Oh yes, I have. Yeah, he's one of the great actors of the past. Mm -hmm. It's one of the legends with those eyebrows and his uh, his way that he can command the the screen. It's pretty fantastic. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's obvious at this point after me seeing those awards, after those watching who've seen those awards, that Zach knows what he's doing and he's definitely on uh, the right path, the path that he was supposed to go on. And it's really inspiring to me. Like, it's just like anytime, anytime I feel like I want to complain about whatever position I'm in, I'm always going to remember Zach because like 
seriously, it's just so inspiring just to see what you've done, what you've accomplished so far. It's absolutely incredible. And um, I think a lot of people can can benefit just from hearing your story and understanding what you've gone through. Uh, I know there was there was a lot of talk for the movie The Peanut Butter Falcon. There were offers from from Hollywood saying we would rather have uh, someone else instead of Zach. We wanted someone who didn't have Down syndrome. And then they they turned down the the money that was offered. Right. And they said, no, we want to put Zach in instead. Yeah. Yep. I don't think the movie definitely would not have been the same. Like, there's no way there's just, you know, because I I watched it again recently and you just can't the what you bring to the screen. It's something that people you can't fake it. It's not something that can be forced. It just has to come from within and it's your own natural way of of being. And it's just it was so different and unique. I'm really glad everybody made that decision and they stuck with that. And one of the things that I I want my viewers and listeners to understand is you have this noble character trait and others can learn from this just by the way you treat people. So treat the way you treat people on set of a movie or a production. Uh, so so what would what do you think, Zach? Why do you think it would be important now today in this modern world that we live in for more people? to treat each other the way you treat people? I would say be um, respect from from of the each other. Every morning, I usually use the, um, I would say, blow, um, um, a blow horn, and then, and then I have been thank for, I would say about my cast and crew, and and then I would tell them, I would say, um, I would say, um, I would say, uh, uh, I would say, um, uh, thank you very much what you have been, um, what you have been working so, so hard and to, um, um, just to, this to do have all the people have been um, uh, working so hard for of uh, this film always um um uh, turns out right right recognizing basically recognizing everyone for the great job and the work that they're doing yeah oh in in I just want to show you one more thing. Oh, okay. You've got something else, which is, is this another award? Uh, no. But it looks um, like um, this is says action. Oh, uh, so, so that's the slate from the movie. Yes. Oh, uh, so. wow. And, Can you hold it up a little bit? Yeah, and and that's why there is all the people have been signed from here and. From up the back. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's, so that's, that's a real piece of history right there. Yeah. That's a piece of history. That, that's a reminder of all the great memories and all the amazing work that you guys did together on set. Yeah. I would say about, I would say about all of the um, many people, um, probably already, I will say about I I am gonna say about like so many people watched um on the um uh, WWE uh, shows, but uh, some people does watch it, or I would say um uh, some people doesn't watch it. But actually, um, but I do have something because I oh. know about uh, uh, so many people. Probably we're going to love so much. Um, did you watch that show? Okay, what do we have here? And this is whoa! This is a what is this? A championship belt? Yep. Uh, heavyweight championship. Wow, the heavyweight championship! Look at that. Bring it in closer to the camera so we can see. 
Wow, that's 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 amazing. I bet the belt itself is kind of heavy too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that belt is bigger than your head. <laughs> yeah. That's a giant belt there. Someone did give me that belt. I would say it 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 is all of my um I would say um producers. The producers gave you that, yeah. What, yeah. Do, you, do you do you think that one day you might be the next heavyweight champ WWE? Uh, I might think that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. My question is, my my other question is, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you smell what the rock is cooking? And then he does like this. Right? Takes his eyebrow, goes up. <laughs> mm -hmm. My uh, favorite um uh, wrestler, I would say um the game of Triple H. Triple H? Yeah. Triple H, uh, man. Uh, uh, yeah, because um because because for him, he is the ringleader. Triple H is the ringleader. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What about that. the Undertaker? Oh yeah. Oh for him. Oh, he is so good too. Oh, and just be you know, but I, actually, I actually I do have the movie. You have the movie though. There was an Undertaker movie. Oh yeah. Everything about him. Wow. You know, when I was yeah. oh, when I was seven or eight years old, I got as a gift, and this is true, a one of those uh, RC remote control racing cars, but it wasn't a car. It was a monster truck, and it was called Grave Digger, the monster truck. Have you heard of that? Oh, uh, no. Oh, well, oh, you might. I mean, oh, oh, I mean, oh, wait a minute. Uh, actually, um, it's a you because actually I had that shirt. He he is in my closet. You have a grave digger shirt. Yeah, yeah, a truck. Yeah, yeah, it's like a green truck, right? Yep, actually, um, just you know, um, actually, um, actually, that that is a part of my um my uh, costume. Oh, really? Yeah, from um, I would say from on the set. Oh, that was a part of your co okay. Oh, that's awesome. So you, so you now you have your costume, and you can. Mm -hmm. It's yours now. You just mm -hmm. have it there. Oh yeah! Oh, really great. Do do you ever um, do you ever uh, you ever practice uh, wrestling like in the backyard? Mess around. Um, um backyard. Um, uh. Actually, I do head a backyard at a, at at um 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 my mom's house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, that's uh this is all really good stuff that we're learning about about the legend that is Zach Gottsig. And now, this is I'll I'll just I'll just take us take us back to what we were talking about before. You know, the importance of recognizing people for 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 what they've done i i think it's really amazing that you still continue to do that because a lot of people just kind of like when you go to a restaurant and you get you get a, a waiter or a waitress oftentimes most people don't think anything of them but they work hard too just like everybody else just like the the van driver on on the set of the movie right someone is oh yeah Actually, I have been going going to the um, restaurant for like um, I would say um, I would say um, um, uh, so many times, but suddenly it did, you know, hit, and then and they just came, they just came to the uh, table and would say, oh, um, this is the um, the um, uh, peanut butter falcon is sitting your your table. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's, it's true. That's I always get that a lot. You do? 
Yep. Every time. Um every time I I would say I would say um um every time I always go out for um I would say it'd be like um uh, breakfast, lunch or dinner and then I would go out then and I would say uh, suddenly suddenly they said, Oh, um here is the peanut butter falcon is um uh joining his meal. Employees and um uh, managers and and e- everybody. That's awesome. So, yeah, because for me, because actually I do have like so many fans around the world and it in my home in Florida. That's great. That's great that you yeah, I mean you have this loyal support system. And that's great that you're you're still getting recognized for for the work that you've done. I'm sure, I am sure that you will be in this industry for a very long time, based upon the people that you've oh. made happy and the work that you've done. So, what about one of your career goals, Zach? What would be like like something you look forward to doing in your career that you want to accomplish? Because you've already accomplished so much. I do feel like to have um uh some more of the um the uh, roles uh roles for for of the next movie and stuff and um and um but um but uh so for my uh, second goal is for me I feel like to be the writer. Okay, so yeah, I mean you, you've got parts, different new parts and offers coming in, but it would be nice to be the writer of a film you want to write a film right yep um yep um, i was saying uh for me so um so i could start um doing um doing all the uh, writing and and we'll see if i do have a very very good a really good ideas and and then i can eh, 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 and then I could, you know, I could write down on my um, my um, my um, uh, journal. Oh, okay. So, do you currently have a journal right now that you use? Oh, writing? actually, yes. Uh, right now, uh, right now, I do have my own journal. Okay. And do you write all of your film ideas in that journal, or do you write um, just ideas for anything? Yeah, um, I'll say, um, um. Everything. Everything. And so one day, yeah. right, one day that collection of everything that's in there is going to be your next movie. Yeah. I'll sit for my time, but I got to do some, you know, the, um, I got to do all the um, major films for, for, uh, four of those, four of those people needs me. So I think, I think I better wait for uh, my part before I start writing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're, I mean, you're already established based upon the work that you've already done, but yeah, it's something, it's always something good to keep in, in, in the background, just as a, just as this continuous flow of journaling, and then you'll have it for the future and you'll be gaining so much experience along the way with the new roles that are going to be presented to you. So that's fantastic. And I, and I think you, you like, you seem to be the kind of guy that likes action. Right, you like action movies. Actually, um, I would say um, um, uh, two things: actions, action, and 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 I do love doing is um, um, go for um, I've uh, go for a very true, um, um, uh, I would say um, uh, stories and 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 and. And I would say about um uh, love and uh, stories and and I just feel like to add something uh, to that. So action and true stories, love stories. Yeah, a uh, romantic uh, comedy. Romantic comedy, okay. And who would be who would be the co-star in that movie with you? Who would you pick? Or no, I'm I'm trying to think. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a lot of great actresses out there to pick from. 
I would say it'd be um, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Oh, do, so do you you currently have a girlfriend? Yeah, actually, I do. Whoa, okay. Wow. All right. You're, yep, you're... Um, um, yep. Um. Actually, um. Her name is um. Um. Uh, uh, Charlotte. Charlotte Woods. Charlotte. Okay. And and how long have you been dating? A very long time. Long time. <laughs> yeah. That's that's awesome, man. I'm so happy for you. And I'm sure Charlotte is very proud of you for, for everything that you've done. And that's really sweet that you like to. Oh, well, um, actually, I'm um, actually, but this we know, but um, um, she knows, she, she knows everything because she, she always tells me that like so many times. <laughs> she knows everything. Yep. About me. As as she should, right? She would know. She would know all the secrets. All the secrets. Yeah. And you probably and know all I, her secrets. Yep. Um, but actually, um, um, but I still, but I still love her. Actually, I have been um, um, missing her, and and she has been um, missing me. So we are not. We are just a little the um, part, but ah, uh, okay, okay. Well, hopefully you'll be able to see her again soon and 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 reconnect I again. Hope, but, I hope, but I'm I, actually I'm not very sure about um I'm not sure um um how long it's going to take. Right. Yeah. I don't know, but that's. You're already ahead of me with the girlfriend thing, so congratulations on that. That's awesome. Uh, you know, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can can you tell can you tell me a little bit more about the um, what's done is done music video? Oh yeah. Oh, in the uh, I would say um, Cold Star is um, her name is um, uh, Jimmy Brewer. Jamie Brewer. Okay. Yeah, and um, and actually, I'm just being no, but on separate on the set, uh, separate on the set. I would say about on the set with her. Um, um, but we did have like you know, um, uh, so much fun, and but we, but we did had, but we, but we, but we did had a very a love fast, and uh, but we just love being together and. And I would say um um she is a really good actor and she is so very 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 um um uh sweet kind and uh gentle and and um but um but uh except for our character he he is about our um 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 uh, marriage. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I would say about our um. Um, age. Um, I would say like be like um over over like um uh, I would say um uh, uh fifty seventeen years and and but we have been um I would say about all of our character I would say because um uh, my part is um uh actually uh, actually I am um husband. Oh, do you play the part of the husband in this music video? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, and and, and so yeah, and um, the uh, husband has a uh, job, and and he works for um, a mailman. Okay, okay. And if if no. people want to, if people want to see the uh, the full story, they should just definitely check out uh, what's done is done. You can see Zach playing the role of the husband. And, and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to checking it out. And I think other people, I would enjoy just seeing another facet of your work, seeing how well you can dance, <laughs> right? Oh yeah. I could dance for like so many things. Yeah. What's, I know there's different types of dance styles. What's your favorite type of dance? You know, there's like jazz, there's samba, right? 
Yeah. Hip hop, yeah. And you know, speaking of speaking of hip hop, I know I know you're a guy that likes to have fun and I know you're a guy that likes to uh that likes to party, right? Oh yeah, yes I do. Yeah. So I actually um I actually had an idea of a great way to round off this whole experience. I actually have mm -hmm. Oh, cool. We got tons of balloons here in the studio. And we're going to awesome. have a little hip hop party, a little hip hop way to wrap up this experience. So I, speaking of rap, I, I heard that you're, you actually know you can rap a little bit, huh? Oh, yes, I do. Yes. Yeah. And this is something that you enjoy doing. Oh, I guess I do love I'm, I'm doing it. Yes. Okay. So, you know what I thought would be interesting if I were to, if I were to put on a beat, would you would would you uh, give us a little a little sample, a little uh, demo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do this right here live in the Make Magic Studio. I'm gonna put on a beat. We're gonna go with it. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll let you take it away. We'll go a little back and forth, a little freestyle, fun. Okay. Uh, John is so cool, and he knows what he does to be on uh, to be on the radio, and he is so cool, and he always do some fun and. In in our uh, time, I hope have a great time and, and have a great life for you. Yes, Zach, Zach, man, he like knows how to rap. Zach doing his rap, and I hear the beat in the background. Man, those just beat smacks. The beat smacks. Zach's got full attack. He's never looking back as he uses his own intuition. That's like his mission. Sitting right there in the chair, that's his position. He's got so many awards, and maybe he's gonna just plug in, plug in the cord. It's gonna light up like electricity. Keep on going on and on till infinity. It's like so amazing. Lighting the fire with passion, straight blazing. Like Zach, lighting up the fire and he aims to inspire and he pushes higher and higher. Tell him the truth. You go tell him, Zach. Tell him, Zach. Spit some more, Zach. Okay, yo, yo. I would say I, I, I did love having fun and, and, and I would say fun and having a very good time and I just love and I do love um, uh, doing this and, and actually I do love doing so many things and I love to be a very I love to be a very good actor and and I do love Sean because Sean is a man and and I do love his um, music video in his car and he, he always be the best rapper in the world and he is so cool and he is so fun and he always rocks and, and he always blow it up and everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> blowing up, blowing up, blowing up like a balloon. So crazy, just like a cartoon, working hard and never lazy. But you know, at the end of the day, who's just gonna just pay me? As we go, like play me, like a piano. You could see him playing like the music. I got my own intuition sitting right here. That's like a magician, like a magician. I can see it right before me. See my past fly in right before me, seeing the past flash. And now we just passed. Zach's drinking a little bit out of the glass. Zach's drinking some of that H2O. Lyrically, though, I got my own flow. Now he's like, he's like the main champ. 
Look at him hold up the belt. He's a big champ. He's gonna put his mark. He's gonna put the stamp. He's gonna put it right on. Now he's like glamorous. He's like loving everybody so amorous. He's like rubbing shoulders with Hollywood movers and shakers. The money makers, the big time players. Get rid of the haters. They get rid of the naysayers. As we go right back to hanging with the big time players, the big game changers. And Zach, you are the game changer. Zach, you are the champ, obviously proven yeah. by the belt in hand mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah oh and uh and and about about service speaking about the word but actually i do have that shirt it says the um the um uh game changer t-shirt Zach, is, not only do we talk about the game changer but he has a shirt that says game changers because he is a true definition of a game changer. And Zach, you are making magic in your business, your career, your life. And I, uh, I am so, so honored uh, to have you on my show. Uh, you guys that have been watching and listening to another episode of the Making Magic podcast, and you've been hearing about the story, the life, the legend of Zach Gotze and the real peanut butter falcon, the wrestler's aficionado the wrestler's champ the main champ he's everybody's champ and i think we all can learn a lot from from you zach so um thank you for for sharing your your story your your way Uh, you make magic on the show yeah man this has been awesome so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you're liking everything so far and you're watching here on youtube feel free to give this video a thumbs up like comment subscribe you know what to do or if you're just listening to the sound of our voices on one of the popular podcast apps feel free to subscribe to the show follow me along for the ride and if you're enjoying everything drop a review as well so uh this has been just lovely zach so uh thank you again and we'll see you on another episode check it out Mm -hmm. Hey, real quick, I forgot to mention, go follow Zach on Instagram. It's spelled just like this, as you see below. It's Zachary Gottsagen. The link to that will be in the description and the show notes. You could also check out his IMDB page. The link to that will also be in the description and the show notes, and it's spelled just like here. It's actually Zach Gottsagen. So just wanted to mention those things. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next episode.